I first heard about Beyond Identity through my personal network and immediately um, it caught my interest. The views I'm expressing here today are my personal views. So to me, what by Beyond Identity is, is a method to take something we all already trust, certificates, and apply them to people. Every time you go to a website and you are having a secure conversation with your bank, let's say, you look up in the upper left-hand corner and you see that little lock icon, right? Um, and that's telling you that that conversation is secure. You've probably also, especially if you're working in a big company, from time to time seen the warning pop up in your browser saying, hey, this site's not secure. That's also about certificates, but it's the opposite effect. It's where the certificates are telling you that this is not something you should trust. And, and most people just take that for granted, but there's a huge amount of infrastructure, um, cryptography, uh, and, uh, and patterns behind that that keep everything secure. And what Beyond Identity has done is figure out a way to apply that kind of process to the human so that you basically appear to your service to have that nice little lock in a virtual sense. Um, so it knows it's talking to you just like you know you're talking to your bank because that little lock is on this idea of using certificates to try to solve the identity problem in some way it's been around for a long time but we've never had the right alignment of the technologies that we have on our person the technology that exists in the computing fabric and the the acute nature of the pain that the identity problem causes for people that specific alignment and what we have in today's world um, makes the Beyond Identity solution critical. So, so every time a, a new technology comes around, um, everyone wants to talk about the, the big changes that will take place. And uh, I think I'm a little too New York for the Silicon Valley version of uh, these big visions. Um, but Beyond Identity and the idea of making the identity problem simple for people and much simpler for organizations to manage as well, um, that can have a huge effect on many things. Um, that's why myself and so many other people have focused on this problem for so long. Um, examples are simply just the amount of frustration that people feel using technology. A lot of it is related to you know, how do I log in? Where did I keep that password? These questions would just go away if I had a button I could press. Um, but the thing is, there has to be a two-way street and what Beyond Identity offers is not just another way to do a password, which is what a lot of these solutions typically are, but it gives the person on the other side of the conversation, the one that has to trust you, the person, um, it gives them something more secure to rely on as well so that they can start maybe loosening things up in that authentication process so they can then trust more easily because they have a more secure channel um, to have that trust relayed. And that means that people will have less trouble using technology. More providers can start putting more services online than perhaps they were willing to before. And that just means more things for people to be able to have in their day-to-day -day lives that make them easier. That is a pretty big change.